regained her memory by connecting with the original avatar. Oh, is that what she was talking to? Chapter 9, The Guide. Gotcha! Freefoot, come back! <laughs> is she communicating with the spirits? Come on, everyone's waiting. Were you playing with She someone? is, wow. Tenzin's itinerary. We went over it like a hundred times before we left Republic City. See, this is why schedules are important. <laughs> but why aren't you training at the South Pole? You didn't hear anything about it? We've oh, been yeah, out they've been isolated. The outside world since mm. we started our vacation. Just tell us everything. Everything? I opened a spirit portal at the South Pole. Here we go. Unalak turned out to be a bad guy and wanted to take control of the South, so I sort of started a civil war. But when I went to find some help, I was attacked by my cousins and then by a giant dark spirit. And then I forgot who I was. And then I lived a whole lifetime as Juan, the Avatar. I shouldn't have opened the portal in the first place, and now I need to close it again. Good job, Cora. I knew this would happen. You did? <laughs> right. Especially the Juan part. Now we must focus on setting things right before he can do any more damage. There you go, Tenzin. He sounds confident. I like it. I thought only the Avatar could do it. I believe there is another way. This way. Oh, that's the tree where he's sealed. And this is where they had their battle, right? <laughs> oh, I thought he found a new girlfriend. Sounds like you've had a pretty busy week. Maybe you just need to relax. Wait yeah. a minute. Yeah. <gasps> You're dating again? What? Cora just left a week ago! Right? That's what I said. This temple is the most spiritual of all the air temples. By this very garden is where my father met Guru Patik. Wow. Wow. Spirit world, here we come. I would love another Guru Patik episode. <laughs> Getting a little carried away there. Are you in the spirit world? I would be. If Milo could ring his bell at the appropriate intervals. Yeah, blame Milo. It's kind of weird how they're all just sitting there watching him. Kaya, this is too much smoke. You set it up wrong. This isn't going to work. I'm sorry. I did what you told me. Well, the moment's ruined. <laughs> Tanzan, stop. <laughs> I think this means too much to him. We could have tried a little longer. She's already there. She, Janora just lives in the spirit world, apparently. She's the one you need. Come she just has a natural foot. gift. Focus. I am focusing. No talking. Feel the energy of the universe. Okay. I feel it. Cora, really? I'm trying <laughs> to concentrate you. Oh, I don't think this, this location hurts. is going to work either. What's going on? Tenzin's with you? frustrated. First He's... you're blaming Milo, then Kaya, now me. Yeah, Tenzin's all wound up. He's got something to prove to himself, and he's taking it out on everyone else. He's just not there yet. And then he messed up further, bringing his whole family around to watch him fail. I don't want to rush your feelings, but we're kind of in a hurry. How did you first get into the spirit world? Let's try that. He's never well, been. Actually, I've never been into the spirit world. That's why. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is why you don't bring your whole family to watch. What were you thinking? But you used to spend days in the temple meditating. Ouch. It never happened. This it's is my good. My greatest shortcoming as this an is airbender, good. spiritual leader, and son of Ang. Yes, let it all out. Doesn't it just feel good to say that? Like, just to admit that you suck at it? It's all right. It just feels so much better, to be honest, to just let go. Especially because, like, him being so wound up about that fact is further preventing him from entering the spirit world, so he's caught in this psychological trap. Pass the torch. Your daughter is amazing. <laughs> Welcome to the I Disappoint Dad Club. <laughs> I've spent years studying the techniques and theories of ancient spiritual leaders. Oh, boy. Now that the Avatar needs me, it must be my time. You have to trust me. I can help you. Hard to trust him when he's acting like this, really. Academic knowledge only gets you so far. Jinora, is there something you want to tell Cora? I think I do know where Cora needs to go to get into the spirit world. And how would you know that? My spirit friends showed me. <laughs> it's okay, you can show yourselves. Wow. The spiritual energy is historically strongest near the temple. Stop. No offense, but I'm guessing the spirits have actually been to the spirit world, so I'm gonna follow them. If we need to go to the Tenzin world, we'll call you. <laughs> Thanks, Boomy. That was really, uh, really nice. By entering the spirit world through the portal, we bring with us something the spirits never had. Our bending. Together we can open this portal. By blasting it with water? I doubt that's how it works. You almost got your kids killed. Good job. Leave him. 
Keep bending. That's true. We all kind of like Eska better anyway. I'm taking him back. Wow, good job. That was very human of her. The only thing I want to torture is this pesky foot fungus. Oh! Ah! Eee! Oh! Not sure that's how you do that, but okay. Burning means it's working. I want to offer you a job on my security force. He's good. I have a job. We're all on the same team here. We want you to join us. I'll join you, you Barrick. You wouldn't want anything to happen to Asami, would you? I mean, Ooh. I heard you and her were kind of a item again. I'm saying I want your help to protect them. Without you, who knows what could happen? The answer is no. It's gonna walk away from a good deal like that? When we were at the Southern Air Temple, I was drawn to this old carving. I couldn't figure out what it was until now. It was the first avatar. When did this happen? She was it talking was on to the solstice. That's the day I opened the southern portal. Whoa. Oh. A cleansing ceremony will help strengthen its connection to the spirit world. Hopefully Tenzin can find a way to be useful. Thanks, Tenzin. She's getting better. Your spiritual training has come a long way. Unalak may be a horrible person, but his spirit powers are no joke. He taught you how to transform dark spirits. I can't even get you into the spirit world. Everything Unalak taught me was to help himself. Everything you've done was meant to help me. Hmm. I am so sorry for turning my back on you as my mentor. I won't let you down. That's a touching moment. But, I mean, as I've said before, he puts way too much on his own shoulders. Like, he feels responsible for the entire world. I think it's like him trying to be everything all at once. It doesn't inspire you to want to follow him as a leader. And, like, I think Korra, who's very powerful, very capable, kind of picked up on that a little bit. And she was not completely wrong about Unalak, right? Like, he really did help her and gave her something that she needed. So her instincts were, in some ways, correct. Tenzin still has his own journey that he's in the middle of, it seems. He's taken on all these deeply critical voices of himself from his past where he felt like he couldn't measure up and he secretly worries that he'll be exposed as a fraud and it ends up being a self-fulfilling prophecy. After all these years, my father's dream for me will finally come true. I really hope they do. I really hope so, for your sake. I'm a little busy. Too busy for Kwong's cuisine? Remember? We had our first date there. Maybe I do need to get my mind off things. Yeah, really putting up a lot of resistance there, Mako. Hope we didn't interrupt you two lovebirds. We were trying to figure out who stole Asami's stuff, so we hired them for a sting operation. According to the triple threats, you did more than that. This guy's shady. Is he gonna plant evidence? Lucky what I found. Cash. And these. You're under arrest. It's Varric. This is all Varric. He set me up. Nah. Varric's too cool for that. It's okay, Tenzin. Maybe you weren't meant to guide Korra into the spirit world. No, just give me some time. Stop being so stubborn. It's not your destiny. I think Jinora was meant to guide the Avatar. Jinora will not enter the spirit world. I spent years training, studying, and mastering everything there is to know about the spirit world. Oh, my heart breaks for him. It really does. It probably doesn't mean as much to others as it means to you, you know? At some point, he just accepted this idea, and it's lingered inside him for so long that it's just become like a law of his life. Usually the ideas we get when we're young, they're placeholder things. They're just ideas that get us through the moment. In a crisis or in a situation that's really volatile, you just need a fix for it. And your brain just like locks onto the first one and is like, okay, this is gonna fix it. That'll allow me to get through this situation and move on. But the problem is those temporary solutions, they end up staying there forever until you look at them and like remove them or replace them with better things. But like depending on how severe the situation was and how often you've leaned on those things they can go really deep and they're hard to remove because sometimes there are things built on top of it there are layers like you've built your whole personality around certain core things that you feel have kept you safe so it's hard to like wrench those out and and replace them with better things so Tenzin's just built up so much tension and pressure on this identity of himself as like being exactly like Aang or like better than Aang or like whatever it is it's easy to double down in the situation because not only is he being exposed in front of his family but his daughter is the one rising above him and he's supposed to be an authority figure in her life. That's a really difficult role reversal. It's like so many of his ideas that are central to his self-identity are collapsing right now. And so he's like going to scramble to keep it all up. Tenzin, let it, go, man. Kaya is right. Let go. I can guide Korra into the spirit world. I'll be all right. Everyone believes in you. Perhaps I will never have the connection with spirits like I always wanted. <sighs> like my father wanted me to have. It's, it's okay, right. daddy. Good daughter. 
We'll wait here and keep your bodies safe till you return. We'll be all right. Mm -hmm. And I also love the idea of Janora and Korra going into the spirit world together. That's awesome. I'll take as much of the kids as I can get. That was nice. You have not failed me. What the hell? He's talking to Batu? Yet. The Avatar still lives. I'll find her. The Avatar will find you. She has just entered the spirit world. Wow. So one thing I want to say about Rava and Vatu, after talking to you guys in the comments about the last two episodes, it seems like a lot of the controversy comes down to the nature of Rava and Vatu and what they actually represent. My initial thought, which I went over in part one of Beginnings, was that they represent two sides of an essential part of the universe, which is a balance between chaos and order. The complaint that people have about that is that they seem to be less about balance, like a yin-yang yin sort of thing, and more about good and bad. And the fact that the Avatar sides with Rava seems to confirm that idea that Vatu actually is just bad for humans. One possible way of looking at it, and I'm not sure this is the correct answer, this is just a thought, is that there's a human awakening that took place, and this created chaos in the world, the chaos of humanity, and it was one who was kind of the avatar of chaos, actually, in a way. Like, he's the one who stole from the gods, and that's a, that's a common theme in mythology, right? Like, eating the forbidden fruit, or Prometheus stealing fire from the gods, which one literally did. He literally stole fire from a god, right? This creates an awareness in humanity, and that unleashes chaos. That's why chaos is out of balance. And so maybe the reason why the Avatar aligns with order, or peace as they call it, with Rava is he has to make sure that this new awakening doesn't get out of control and consume the world. I can imagine a situation where Rava would be the bad guy. It's just, that's just how things unfolded with humans entering the world. Maybe there are issues with the portrayal. Like I can see why it looks like Vatu bad, right? This is just a thought I had. You guys can let me know what you think. Otherwise, I'm just looking forward to seeing how things play out. I'm hoping that we'll get more information about it, which will make things more clear. So that'll be something to look forward to going forward. <laughs> Before the video ends, I gotta make a kind of a sad announcement. Um, as you know, it's been a long time with Sweater Lord and Melon Lordette. Uh, Cabbage Bro has already departed. So I think once Melon Lordette gives birth, which should be any day now, hopefully, it's been forever, geez, hurry up with that thing. It'll be the end of the, the fruits. I know it sounds weird, but I'm actually kind of sad about it. Uh, nobody. Yeah, nobody, that's right. Yeah, I mean, I've gotten really attached to them. It's gonna be sad. I wish you guys the best. We'll always have that great anime opening we did, you know? Nobody. Uh, Yes, I heard your body can live. Oh. <laughs> 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 Do this to save yourself. Your reward is death. Nobody. Nobody. Nope. Nobody. Nobody.